Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another how-to diorama video. Today, I'm going to take a piece of pink foam and make some asphalt. Let's get it started. Okay, so first things first, I have never done this before. Just saying. Uh, but when I go out and do uh, some photography with uh, my diecast stuff, there's times I've wanted to try to do something in their perspective, and uh, I don't really have nothing set up for that. So uh, I thought I would make something. And the way we're going to do this, uh, you just need some aluminum foil, and you need this uh, Vallejo Diorama FX Earth texture this is lava asphalto right there um i've seen it i've seen a couple videos of it being used uh, i've never used it so uh i don't know um i had a piece of pink foam which is good and sturdy and rigid and uh yeah so I got me a piece of aluminum foil uh, aluminum foil is really good uh, to do textures with uh, the pink foam. And I figured if we're going to do some asphalt, we need some textures. And the, the beauty of the, uh, the, I mean, you can do the press method. You can do this. You can roll it. Uh, I've actually considered the ideal of getting an, an old rolling pin and figuring out some way to uh, make the rolling pin have texture on it. Haven't quite figured that out yet, but uh, we're doing a road. We need some texture. Uh, now, based on what I understand with this uh, Diorama FX stuff, there's all kinds of different ones they have. Uh, this has a texture to it. Uh, I think it has uh, the, the grit and, and stuff in it so uh yeah i hope that this one jar will be enough at some point i don't know if i'm gonna do a roadway yet or not or if i'm just gonna have uh just something like a, a an asphalt lot but first things first we got to get the uh got to get the texture going create some peaks and valleys and, and stuff like that um, where this can actually fit into it. Uh, also, this stuff is really, really thick based on what I've watched. So, uh, yeah. But even if you're doing, like, not something like this, but uh, you can see the texture. So, if, you, if you're doing any kind of dioramas, um, when it comes to uh, walls or anything like that, the aluminum the aluminum foil method it's it's there it's been there and it, it works. So um, tell you what, we got that done. Let me get some gloves. We'll get this thing. Uh, let me open it up and show it to you first. Um, let's see what this stuff looks like. I guess I ought to read the instructions. I'm sure you got a mix it up black lava has a thick and dense consistency appropriate for volcanic grounds and for asphalt on roads Ooh. uh ba -ba -ba. It dries in approximately 30 to 45 minutes and can be further painted that's actually pretty cool uh but i'm sure we got to mix it up but uh let me get some gloves i'll take this off and we'll uh i'll show you how this does we'll tilt the camera and we'll uh We'll get this started. All right, everybody. So got this stuff cut open. I'm going to uh, see if we can get the uh, get this lifted up. Definitely have some on the. Uh, oh wow, that is that is legit. Looks like asphalt. That's crazy. I mean, that seriously <laughs> looks like asphalt. Um, so, and again, I don't know, I'm going to, I mean, this is, this is 
this is cool stuff. Do a little bit of a mix up or mixing. I don't think there's really no, uh, you know, wrong way or, I mean, it's basically uh, just mixing it on here. This is, uh, this is pretty cool. Like I said, I just hope I've got a, hope I've got enough uh, for this. I didn't, honestly, I didn't know um, how far it would actually go. I didn't know, um, I honestly didn't even know about what kind of diorama, the size I wanted to do or anything. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> but at least we know, uh, this is like a 16 by 20, I do believe. So, uh, we'll definitely know how that goes. So I'm just going to get it spread out. I'm not too worried about making it nice and neat and even uh, right yet. Because, you know, it is an asphalt like parking lot. But I do want to be relatively quick. I don't want to dilly dally too much because it I mean you've got 30 to 45 minutes for this to dry so you definitely have plenty working time so I'm not too worried about that yeah I've had people comment uh, like when I when I do these little things and I post them on social media and uh, I've had people ask me you know hey you know, Greg, show us how you do some of this stuff. So this is the reason for this. Um, I was planning on doing it anyway. And this is a new product that I have never used. So uh, I figured let's uh, let's use it together. But look at this. I mean, it, it definitely has a nice grit to it. Should have got another popsicle stick. Uh, one thing I am noticing, if you uh, really press down as you scrape it, it creates sort of a um, a shiny spot. So what I'm hoping is we'll get all of this covered. It's definitely going a lot smoother than I anticipated, to be honest with you. Oh man, yeah, this this actually, it, it spreads really, really good. It's almost like a um, cake icing, to be honest with you. That's sort of what it uh, reminds me of. All right, so based on, I've used approximately half the jar uh, for this particular uh, piece. So let me see if I can scrape some of this off, put it back in the, the jar. I'm actually, I uh, wanna see if I can sort of clean this off because I'd like to, uh, I'd like to actually take this and try to smooth it out a little bit, just a hair, just, you know, give it a light, a light smoothing. Take some of the, the high spots so you can see it actually uh, is picking up some of those. So this should actually make it semi level. So we got that right there. Take that, put that back in the jar. Don't want to waste it. And then what I'm going to do, uh, is I'm going to come back this way. This is really, really cool stuff. Uh, I mean, 
I know that the the model builders and, and things like that, uh, diorama builders, they've probably used this stuff. But for me, um, I really didn't know nothing about it. And to see how well uh, this is actually working makes me want to look into some of their earth tones because uh, they do have earth tones. I'll put a little bit right there. There we go. I mean, and it's still picking up uh, the high spots. So that is what we want. And this is very, very light. Um, hardly any pressure at all. Just very, very light, 45 degree angle. Oh yeah. Spinning around, uh, you may be able to see if there's one of those little shiny spots right there. I'm gonna put a little bit on there. Bring that off. Clean off the excess. I'm really curious to see how this dries. Uh, if it's gonna stay uh, this color or if it's going to uh, change, but uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, definitely, uh, it's a definitely gloves or a must. So, uh, but yeah, approximately uh, half the jar. That's about it. So i tell you what, I'm gonna let this dry and uh, I'll see you in about 45 minutes. All right, everybody, so here we go. We got it done, and uh, yeah, this looks like asphalt. It is legitimate, looks like asphalt. Um, I still haven't decided if I'm going to do any kind of lines or anything like that on it because, like I said, I just wanted something to have that I could put on uh, some kind of a tripod or a table that I could do some kind of perspective uh, shots with. But as you can see, I drug out some other die cast uh, cars and yeah, you can make a really cool diorama base with, uh, with that product. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, again, uh, took 20, it took right out about 35, 40 minutes, like I said, to dry. It uh, has a nice te texture to it. Uh, I can see some of the imperfections um, now, one of the things I could have done, uh, you saw me do it earlier where I took the uh, aluminum foil and I actually uh, done the uh, indentions and stuff. This pretty much covered all that up. <laughs> so I could have took some water and a brush and thinned it out and got it to really soak into those, but I, I'm okay with the way it turned out. I think it looks great. Uh, let me take some of these off. Uh, I even have a uh, Captain Rex right there, <laughs> not too far away, but, uh, but yeah, look at that. I mean, that, that legitimate is asphalt. There you go. Uh, but I'll definitely leave a link and everything in the, uh, the video, the description of, of everything where you can get it. Uh, I, the, the interesting thing about this, um, it actually reminds me of tar because I actually got some on me and I actually had to take, uh, actually, you actually have to take like some alcohol or uh, paint thinner stuff. So it is, it, it will get on you. So be very, very careful uh, when you use it. Um, as you see, I got a little, uh, little carried away right there. Probably gonna come, uh, come back and do, uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna paint the sides of it or anything like that. I may put some duct tape or something around it, but Honestly, uh, if you need something light, uh, simple that you can carry around with you and basically, you know, have some nice little uh, perspective shots. Uh, for the smaller ones, it's a lot, but for the, the larger cars, I think it works out really, really good. And again, I may put some lines on it. I don't know. Uh, I haven't got that far yet. I just needed to have a base and I wanted to share that with uh, all of y'all. So uh, 
yeah, let me know what you think. I've still never been able to get that to stand up, but I dig it. I'm definitely going to uh, look at some of their other uh, textures, um, the other colors, because this is uh, this is cool. This is very, very cool. Um, it, it really does a, a wonderful job. But, uh, yeah, we're done. Hope you enjoyed this quick little, you know, how-to type video. Um, you know, hey. <laughs> also, I will tell you this. It's not just for cars. You can actually use this for uh, figures as well. You know, if you needed some kind of a, a, a base. Um, I think they make one that looks like uh, concrete. So uh, I may be grabbing some of that to make a, uh, a concrete slab, which I think that would work out really, really good. But, uh, yeah, you let me know what you think about this. Uh, I recommend it. Something quick, simple, easy. Doesn't take a lot of uh, expertise because, hey, I did it. <laughs> but definitely check out the links in the description of the video. Also in the description of the video, you'll find links to all my social media. Definitely uh, keep your eye out. I will be posting photos of this when I uh, put it in action. Uh, and I'll be posting those on social media, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, all of that other stuff. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, if you enjoy this type of content, do me a favor, consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, make sure and turn notifications on. That way you'll know when my next videos drop. Uh, when I do live streams, when I upload a short or anything else related to my channel. And finally, please always remember, making dioramas for your toys refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time.